guys and welcome back to my channel now in my previous hair tutorial you saw that i was using one of the finger coiling methods to style my hair as i was just in my transitioning phase however i am now a year and four months into my transitioning phase and i switched up my hair products as well as my curling method so if you're keen on checking out how i achieved these twist out locks continue watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so since starting my transitioning phase, I just can't say the word correctly, um, I have been really strict, like I've put down all my curling irons, my flat irons, my hair dryers, everything, and then also changed up all the products used on my hair. So all the products that I was using, it contained no parabens, no sulfates, or at least Theresa May says less sulfate, so it's not that it's completely sulfate free. The products I find that are sulfate free are quite costly and it comes in those little tiny bottles which is not very convenient for me as I wash my hair sometimes twice a week. And like I said, I've got my hubby and my kids using my hair products, so not cost effective. So I switched over to this. I see a lot of guys have been raving about this product. It's a Garnier Ultimate Blends. They come in different scents, different flavors. But I took this one as this one is for very dry and damaged hair. It's with avocado oil and shea butter. I got some special at this came a month ago. It was two for 80 bucks. So that is why I tested it out. And I have to admit, the shampoo, the smell of the shampoo is a bit mild. So you don't get that real avo or fruity kind of smell. But it works quite well. And then the conditioner itself, I notice it does moisturize me more than the Theresa May does. Like I said, guys, everyone's hair is different. So this might not work as well on your hair. The Theresa May might work a bit better. But this one, for me, I notice I experience less frizz. And frizz is when your hair literally bombs at the root. Like it is bombing now as my is completely product free and about 50% dry. I was supposed to film this immediately after stepping out of the shower, but mom life. <laughs> so I've been using this and another thing on the conditioner itself, it's not as thick as the Tresemate conditioner or any other conditioner. It's slightly thick but it doesn't allow for a lot of slips. I end up putting a lot of conditioner on my hair because I detangle my hair when I have my um, conditioner in because it just makes the job so much easier. I do that in the shower. So next off, once I've washed it, I'm going to go in with my Jamaican Black Seed Castor Oil and the bottle i like this the packaging but the tip itself it's not convenient as you need to snip it off so you can't really control the size of the hole or control the amount of oil that comes out so what i did from my previous oil that i had i just swapped the nozzles basically to make application much more easier so i would normally just go in and like give it a gentle squeeze and place it on most parts of my hair and then we're going to massage that in. I normally flip my head over because according to certain studies, when you flip your head over, you, all your blood rushes to your head, which creates um, more growth. Some scientific fact. I don't know. You guys can go check it out. I'm not saying it works, but I've just been doing that. But of course, can't flip my head because I am on camera at the moment. So I would just go in and massage it that way. And then I switched up my styling products. So I would use, I would go in, dampen my hair a bit more as your hair styles easier or better when wet, soaping wet, but I just do it damp. So I'm gonna go in with my leave-in conditioner and then I picked up a new product which I'm not sure if it's 100% curly girl friendly but it worked quite well these products together did not cake it did not leave any white residue once it dried so I think I'm going to stick to this combination for now this is the Vatica Afro Naturals Curl Defining Cream it has shea butter coconut all those little bonus points for curly ears um, it defines and elongates curls hydrates and locks in moisture so my hair you can see it shrinks quite a bit so when styling it I tend to use a heavier product such as a curling pudding or a curling custard as it weighs there down which makes the hair strand or the curl a bit longer but yeah let's get into that i'm just gonna part my hair off just separate it basically into two sections as my hair looks thick but it is quite thin and then i will get into my twist method i've just went in and sectioned off my into two pieces as you can see the color is growing out i need to go in and tie my hair with not so friendly curly um curly friendly dye a few months ago actually 
Look at all this November last year, October last year for my birthday. And then I installed my own box plates, which I still owe you guys a video on. So what I'm doing now, I'm just sectioning off my hair. You can use a comb if you want to, but I just go into it. I once my once I loosen the twist out, so just I let my hair hang however it wants to hang. <laughs> So I've got my little spray bottle, don't come at me, I bought this at a plastic warehouse a while ago. So what I just have in here is some H2O and, and then of course some of that oil. So this product um, or this water, I actually just spray on my hair to dampen it when styling it. And then also when I need to refresh my hair, instead of wetting my, complete, my entire head under the tap, I just spread some of it on. And when your hair is damp or wet, it's actually more manageable, especially when you have curly hair. It is very dry and very thick and very difficult to manage when it's in a dry form because you end up snapping your hair more because it's in its natural state. So I'm just taking a normal little piece over here. Shake that up because oil and water does not mix. And then just spray some of that on so that it makes it easier for my hair to actually be combed through you can hear my kids screaming in the background <laughs> okay then next i'm going to be going in with my can to leave-in conditioner just taking a generous amount and i'm going to be using the plain hands method like i showed you in the previous video and just working that all the way through that section over there and then i got me this detangling brush the detangling brushes are so expensive and I was in Chinatown one day, just trying to detangle what I can with my fingers before going in with a brush. And then I paid 50 bucks for a tangle teaser. Obviously not the original one, but yeah. So when detangling your hair, try and start at the bottoms first, and then you work your way up. I detangled my hair in the shower, but my hair was not styled in over a week, and I just let it bomb, so it was <laughs> completely knotty and sticky. I struggled to detangle in the shower. So I'm combing that leave-in conditioner through my hair so that I can get even amounts right through or distribute that product all through my hair. And then next I will just like take a random piece. You can of course take as big a pieces as you want. And I'm gonna go into the clip just to section that part off there. And then just give it another comb through, brushing from the bottom. And then next, I'm going in with my Vatica Curl Defining Cream. I'm just going to take some of that product and then put it all over that section. And then to twist, you just need to basically separate you in two pieces. You can do the three strand, the three strand twist, but I am not on that level as yet. <laughs> and I've been finding that the two strand works fairly well. So you portion it off into two areas and then we're going to tightly just twirl those two pieces of hair with one another. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. And then just working some of the product into the rest of that little drology over there. And then as I'm going down, I'm just going to smoothen down that bottom ease. If you're wanting a nice defined curl with no odds and end pieces of strands coming through the curls. So we twist it and twist it and twist it. Right until we get to the end my hair normally i would normally dry it overnight and then loosen this twist out we'll see if i can get it dry by the end of the day so i can complete this video for you guys if not i'll just have to continue filming tomorrow and then when you get to that last strand i would do like a little finger coil just so that the product can go into the tips of my hair and of course just have a little curl at the bottom too once it dries out and then going in with the next section. Like I said, you can use as big a pieces as you want. You can do smaller pieces if you're wanting a lot of coils on your hair. But I am just feeling a bit lazy today, so I'm just gonna be taking random parts. And then of course, once I let them down and twist them, I'm going to fluff them out so it'll look even. Back in with that curling defining or curl defining cream. Like it smells like cocoa, the two together. It smells like it's completely edible. <laughs> And then again, splitting those two pieces with my finger, try and get an even split or two even pieces. So just so that it balances out so that you can have a nice little twist out. And then combing that down so it can be completely smooth. 
and doing a nice twist. The tighter you to do your twist, the more um, definition you're going to get. The little spiral, curling, coil, whatever you'd like to call it. So it will dry up in this phase. You can see that little twist there. So I'm going to complete this process with my entire head. I'm not going to film my entire head for you guys. I was just going to make this video really, really long. And me with my ADHD, I know I can't stick to one video or one thing for so long. So I know. This is what it looks like. The one side is now completed. I twisted out the entire section. As you can see, as I was going more to the front, I made the twist out slightly smaller as I'm wanting more definition, which frames my face. Not to bother about the back. The back will just curl up by itself. But when doing the front section, I tend to use less product as it does weigh your hair down, which can actually make your hair not want to curl, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to complete this last section for you guys so you can see how I split up my hair. As you can see, I'm not using a comb, so I just take normal sections like this. My hair is quite sticky on top. And I'm going to section that part off so I can work on this little baby over here. I'm working according to my little path, which is not really a path. <laughs> if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know, me and paths, mm -mm, we just don't get along. So again, in with that little water over there. Just to add some extra moisture and then some leave-in conditioner. Try not to get too much product on me. As it affects my curl pattern when it comes to the top. My on top is not as curly as the bottom is yet. Like I mentioned, I don't know if I did mention earlier on that I did not chop off too much. So every few weeks or so, I take it and I just snip off whatever parts are not curling. Just so that I can keep it slightly more curlier. So I'm splitting in that into two sections over there. Well, actually, I think I'm just going to make this one. And then with my styling product. So for these little babies over here, I normally just do a little finger coil. And then that section over there, I am going to do a twist. Kids just ran in a little bunch of noise. So what I was saying, these little babies over here, I just tend to separate them off from the little thing over there. Because I notice it doesn't curl as much when I do a twist out on certain parts or that little section of my hair, and then I'm just going to twist this into one chunky twist. This one's just dry, I can separate them into smaller curls. Twist, twist, and then smooth them out when I get to the middle section so we can have a nice smooth curl going on there once we loosen it. I'm just trying to swoop off some of the product so that it's not as gunky as this side. If you do feel that I have a bit too much of product, you can always just go in with your um, microfiber towel, which I don't have. I'm still adding that to one of my lists, my shopping list. And, or you can use a cotton t-shirt just to tap some of it off. Do not be tempted to use a towel, as that can cause frizz when your hair dries out. So something about the towel, it breaks up your hair as well. And then that other section over there, I think I'm going to split this into two. You see, I just wing it as I go along. Let's see. I don't want the twist to be too thin. It should be small enough. Oh. Section I put over there. And then again, going in with my styling product. Not too much. I normally let this dry overnight. I go in with whichever I can find first, whether it be my bonnet or my silk scarf, and then I just tie it off so that that moisture can stay in my ear or in the cap. So rubbing all off onto the pillows and going onto your face and just causes major breakouts. I'm twisting that part off there. It's last section. Add some of that styling product to that. 
I'm just combing it once more. Oh, shit. Combing it once more just so we can have a nice smooth finish. And then taking that little, which used to be an edge but now completely grew out <laughs> thanks to the black Jamaican castor oil. I'm just doing a little finger coil over there. And then this, of course, we're going to be using as a twist. Like you can see, I go a bit smaller when it comes to certain parts of my ear. Just to add that extra definition. Just twist. This usually takes me about a half an hour on a good day. <laughs> to complete my entire head. But if there is distractions or any delays in between, I take longer. Or on certain days where I'm just completely lazy. So this is the final piece over there. I think I'm just going to go in and wet the complete piece and then just add the leave-in conditioner one time. Like I said, if you, oh, I'm spraying my candle. If you are wanting a more neater look or if you can do parts, do parts, as it will create an even outcome on both sides, seeing that it's a middle part. I'm just doing that and then going in with my detangling brush. Open my ear can dry today so I can finish this video for you. I'm gonna get the last of it knots out. My ears are all sticky and I don't think I did a good job in the shower with <laughs> detangling. I just wanted to get out of the shower. I have my little one knocking on the door looking for unnecessary things. <laughs> I was trying to take a peaceful shower. My only alone time that I do get is in the shower, but to your mom, you can relate. The spot is a rather sticky compared to the rest. I'm trying to go as slow and as gently as possible as I'm trying to minimize the breakage. This is my toppy. So I think I'm just going to split this through the middle with my finger. That is off, and then this I'll just be splitting into two pieces, just giving one more comb through some styling product. Splitting that into two sections and twist. Try and go as close as possible to your root when twisting so that you can have a nice defined curl from root to top. The looser you make it twist out, the less definition you get, and it's not really going to be a curl if you get what I mean. This is an arm and finger workout. <laughs> I'm just warning you beforehand. But the end result is totally worth it. The definition, the length, and it lasts quite longer than my finger coils, like I said. Everyone's hair is different, but I noticed when I tend to do finger coils, my hair starts forming from the root, and then I've got like this little poof, and the end of my hair starts curling, which is not a look. And then twisting that last piece off so that I can get a nice curl. And then the last and final piece. So I'm gonna split that into two sections. If you feel your hair is a little bit dry when applying products, you can always just go in with your spray gun, add some moisture to that, and then go in and twist. It works better when your hair is much or like very wet, soaked in water. Piece. You can go thinner with this part if you're wanting to. If you're wanting more curls, you can go thinner. And a little bit of product to that front here. And then the last and final twist. Once you've completed your twist and you see that there are a few hairs or a few strands or twists that are not to your liking, you can always just go back in and wet it up with your spray gun. Don't add more product because there is product on your hair. And then just loosen the twist and start from over. 
the tighter your twist, the more defined your code command looks. <laughs> See, it's quite a messy job. And then trying to twist that last little strand over there. So this is the complete twist out look. You can rock it once it's dry. You can use it as a protective styling as we are in winter in South Africa. And then um, obviously tab off that excess products. So I'm gonna let this dry. Hopefully it will dry today, fingers crossed. Then I can unravel them for you, show you exactly how I style them once I've untwisted this. But yeah, let's go and catch some vitamin D. Okay, so I decided to dry my hair overnight as I was getting busy with everything and I just didn't get a chance to film. But I slept with my bonnet on just to protect the hair. If you don't have a bonnet, you can always just do a little silk scarf. And this is what they look like today. So I'm going to unravel them today, going in again with that black Jamaican castor oil. Just adding a little bit to my hands, mostly on the fingertips so that we can unravel them. Smoothing it out over that curl. And then just separating them. You can, of course, leave them as is. Or I like to take it a step further and separate it into smaller curls. one and when you feel that there is less oils on your hands you can always go in and add some more of course i want to add too much too much product build up on the hair creates like this little chunky barrier so that's what the side looks like i'm going to un so i just completed unraveling all those little twist outs and then i just fluffed it up roughly with my hands you can of course go in with a pick or if you have a wide tooth comb but i think i actually like this volume it's not too much it's feeling mellow but as you go on or as the days go on you will obviously become more volume naturally so this completes today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed seeing my new method and the new products that i'm currently using to style my hair if there's anything else you're wanting to see on this channel let me know in the comment section below and before you go do not forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah until next time